All right, friends, today we are in Tulum. We're gonna check out a couple hostels, uh, see which one's better. And it also kind of depends on what you're looking for. Right now, we are at um, Straw Hat. This is a party hostel. Uh, I stayed here last night. It was actually pretty fun. As you can see, they're still cleaning up some of the balloons from last night. And last night it was packed. I'll show you a video of it. And actually, the, the video I recorded was only about half capacity. Uh, it did, it did uh, fill up all the way. So pretty cool. Um, uh, hostel if you want to party and I'll show you uh, just a little bit around okay so these are the 10 person dorms pretty basic just bunk beds uh, just basic uh, you know accommodations <laughs> All right guys, I am checking out of Straw Hat and overall, I'd probably give them like a 7.9. Uh, if you're here to party, you're here to have a good time, here to meet a lot of other travelers, you'd probably rate them an eight, probably nine or above. Uh, I honestly just came to check it out. I did party the first night and I ended up staying another night. So obviously it wasn't a bad place to stay. I met a lot of really cool people and at checkout time, I just didn't feel like going to the next one. So I just extended it one more day. So, you know, you might do the same. There's probably lots of people that end up staying an extra week or so, uh, but, um, like I said, the only parts I didn't like, the beds, um, you know, a lot, lot to uh, lot to improve on. They're kind of all connected together. So anytime one person would move, like I could feel it. And so it was kind of weird. Uh, I wouldn't say it was like annoying, but it was just kind of weird to, to say the least. Um, and then the, the, the bathrooms are tiny and the showers. Um, I mean, it's literally like three foot by three feet. I mean, by the time you sit down, I mean, there's people's feet sticking out of the bottom of the bathroom uh, stall. So it is kind of weird. Uh, so that's really the only thing. But if you're okay with that, you're, you're probably going to love it here. It's so much fun. The staff is so nice. The people are so nice. Uh, I would recommend it, especially if you're new to uh, traveling or new to Tulum and you want to just get to lay of the land. Great place to start. And that's actually why I came here. I've been here about three years ago. Really enjoyed myself and enjoyed myself again. So you'll definitely like it. But we'll go check out Che next, okay? So I just checked into Che. As you can see, a much different vibe. You can see some digital nomads working behind me. You can see some people checking out for the pool area, um, you know, and, the, and people even at the bar already. So much different vibe. Uh, I really like it. It's very fun. It's very friendly. But let's check out the rest of Che, okay? All right, guys, I'm checking out a Che. Good experience overall. Give them about an 8.3. Highly recommend it if you're a solo traveler, if you're a digital nomad, or just want to get out of town for a couple days. Uh, definitely come check this place out. You'll definitely meet some other travelers. Really cool people here. Had a good time last night, but let's go check out the next location, which is going to be Lucky Duck. So I just got to Lucky Duck uh, here in Tulum. So let's go check it out. So here's the breakfast that comes included. It came with fruit, but I already ate it all and then a juice so it looks really good hi guys i am checking out of lucky duck and overall i'd give them like a 7.1 if you're looking for a place to relax and chill i'd highly recommend it very low key as you can see the pool behind is uh you know there's only like one person there typically uh and then you know the beds are, are, are decent uh i don't like the, the way it was set up it's kind of weird uh but you know i got a full night's sleep which is good uh, no loud music, things like that. So like I said, if you're, if you're looking for just somewhere um, where you can get a full night's sleep, then come check it out. But yeah, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. So I just checked into Mayan Monkey, and as you can see, it's massive. I'm here on the fourth floor, and I think I saved the best for last, so let me just show you around a little bit. where they have most of the common areas. I do yoga down there in the mornings. Uh, that is the quiet zone. And then we have the co-working space over there and then the shared kitchen. So pretty cool overall. So hope you guys enjoyed that so far. And thank you guys so much for watching this video so long. Uh, but overall, I would give Mayan Monkey uh, an 8.7. Uh, best hostel I've had here in Tulum so far. Um, uh, and I highly recommend any of the hotels I've been at. Obviously, they each have their, their pluses and minuses. And I'll write some more detailed notes that I didn't go over in the video. And also, if you have any specific questions, uh, let me know in the comments. But yeah, I really enjoyed myself. And thank you guys so much for watching this far. All right, thanks. Bye.